guys this is Dave from Homegrown Herbs and today starts our first clutch of the year for uh, the 2023 season and for us this is also a first time uh, pairing we've never used um, this species before um, so this is a first for us for our Mexican black king snakes so uh, sort of a bit of a weird story the bloke that um, originally sold them to us told us that the male was the female and the female was the male so over the course of the last couple of weeks basically it became quite prominent that it was the opposite way around um as i was putting what i thought was the male into the female um but it happened to be the female into the male uh the sort of way they were reacting to each other was a little slightly different um the supposed female was grabbing the male and stuff like that just didn't add up and as my thoughts sort of panned out, I left them to it and kept pairing them as was, just in case. Um, just so it might be an odd thing. And yeah, sure as the male is actually the female and the female is actually the male. So <laughs> one of those, uh, at least we've got the eggs. So uh, let's crack on and get looking into those and see if we can get them into a tub and into the incubator for the first lot. Right guys, as you can see, blue tub, blue marker. So... As I thought, it was a male, but hey ho, <laughs> these things happen. Right, let's see how this goes. This girl can be temperamental, so I am going to uh, pop her into a holding tub while I uh, sort the eggs. Stands a good chance she might try and give me a slap. So, okay, girl, good girl, in you go. Well, that was problemless. It was a lot better than I was expecting. Now, let's get in and see what we've got. Holy moly. That is a big ass clutch. So, right. As we can see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 eggs on the first clutch, which is absolutely amazing. As I always do, as I lay how they stay, um, oh, actually, you know what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's actually 13 eggs. There's one right underneath here as well. Um, does look a bit icky. We shall see how that one goes all there. That one does look like it appear right off. It has got some good veins just looking at the light of it. So we'll see how it goes over the next couple of days. And then if it does seem a bit icky, we'll take it out. But... Chuff with that, 13 off the first clutch. Apparently this girl from the last breeder, um, which I'm sort of doubting now, um, said that she always double clutches. Um, let's just see how she goes. Get these guys in. As you notice with these, I don't, they use egg crates for the colubrids. Um, it's never have really. Always just drop them straight into a bit of a Mickey light. I don't go mad, literally. As you can see, probably about an inch, inch and a quarter. Bury them down into it so they're just sitting in it, not right through it. And that's it. Not a breather hole. With these tubs, to be fair, um, I don't really put a breather hole in just simply because they're not a full tight fit. So they can sort of air out through them. So get these into the incubator and hopefully see them in a good uh, 60 days. So hope you guys look forward to that. And then it looks like we may have some ball pythons not far off as well um and obviously in the next couple of months the sambo is again so stay tuned guys take care keep smiling and let's teach not preach <laughs>